One of the platform is Hikey, second Hikey 960, and the last one is platform mini GBM. If not all this, if all these platforms are not used, then uh, the generic importer is used. And here we see all the files and everything that contains the implementation of for different platforms. Uh, Highkey, mini GBM, and generic. So what we need is to add just our section for our platform. What I have done. Um, one more moment. The um, our Gralloc handle. Um, the composer need to know the structure of our Gralloc buffer. So if we want to operate with the structure, we need to add the header file so that the composer knows uh, which structure coming into his function. If we do not do this, we will not compile even. So after adding, after doing all these steps, I finally got my picture. Everything worked. Uh, but something more strange and um, I saw all icons, I saw everything, everything worked, but was something that I saw that it wasn't right. I couldn't understand what was wrong. And after that, we decided to capture a um, video in slow motion. And what here is, oh, what, what did we see? So as you can see, the image is flickering. And I've spent quite a lot of time to understand what's happening, what's wrong, and why is this happening? What, 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 what's doing that? Mm, the point is that um, when a hardware composer is being initialized, uh, it makes a device probing, the display probing. In my case, I have used a cheap uh, test monitor, HDMI. Uh, it's like 21 inch or something like that. But it was really cheap. And um, after probing, it returns the buffer, uh, one of things that it returns, it returns the buffer, uh, the list of uh, DRM video modes. Uh, these modes are being returned mm, in an order from the uh, lowest resolu resolutions to the highest resolutions. And s for some resolutions, some monitors are supporting the interlaced modes. And it happened that um, after the hardware composer initialization, um, inside the hardware composer, it uses the set active config function. This active config gets the default configuration. The default configuration was the first one. Um, the first one was the resolution which is returned the last of the least, of all the least. And it was fine. But a few seconds later, the, some Java service called Window Manager service, uh, somehow, I have not understood yet how, it uh, makes its own configurations and sets its configuration over the default one. And this configuration makes something like, make the picture to be something like this, like I just um, showed. So to avoid that, at current moment, I have just um, removed all interlaced modes from the buffer after the device probing. Y it helped. But I'm not sure yet. I now have a s discussion in, with John uh, about um, how, we can, how else we can solve this problem. Maybe uh, we will do some um, mode prioritization that all interlaced modes are put on the last of the list or on the, to the beginning of the list. I don't know yet. But for now, this is fixed by just uh, excluding all interlaced modes if we do not need them. 
the second one. This second one, um, our board has two configuration. First, it's just a board with HDMI output, and it was used as the base configuration for my experiments. Uh, after it gets it's worked, I tried to use the second configuration with LCD touchscreen and external uh, HDMI monitor. Nothing worked. I just turned on my board and I found nothing. It wasn't working. Uh, after, I don't know, some time digging into the hardware composer code, I saw that uh, the external DRM hardware composer is not supporting the LCD display type. So after I have added this LCD display type, uh, to uh, internal or external functions. These functions are just comparing the input, the incoming display type, and um, with the supporting one. If, and if we support some display, we're returning OK. If we're not, we're returning that we are not OK. So just adding the my display type makes everything worked. And the next problem, uh, I have not solved it yet. I'm working on this now. Uh, the same configuration with the LCD display uh, makes LCD display working, but if I turn on the external display into HDMI port, nothing works. Uh, I mean, the external display, HDMI display, is not working. So I, the LCD keeps working, it's all fine, but for some reasons the external HDMI is not working. So that's the situation, I think, the same order can be used for all boards for different vendors and the DRM hardware composer can be turned on in the same way. And I think that's all for me now. If you have any questions. So first, a comment on the last one. I think uh, multi-headed's not really supported. Is, is um, I don't think so. In I don't think it ever was. In DRM hardware composer, you mean. Right. Um, so is it, do you know if it's planning to be supported or not? I think it's been on the to-do list forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. Something like a, like a implementation of documentation of how to. Because uh, I have not. I well, it took some time to get all this to understand how, <laughs> how it should be done. And so going going back to the uh, buffer importer, the original goal was not for every platform to go add their own importer, but for to move to a common uh, buffer handle definition which lives in libdrm. Did you look at uh, doing Yes, that? I looked at it, but we have our Gralic implementation and we are not yet planning to, well, at least I had to uh, do something which can convert our, our buffer to the uh, Gralic uh, DRM buffer. So right. I, in any case, I will have to do that. And I saw like Heike did, so it pretty much the same. Uh, maybe the general idea is not in that, but I have not connected yet. It's my on my local machine, and now it's working. So they, they all have the same information in there, like width, height, stride, format of buffers, and there are some uh, slight variations. Mm, yep. Uh, but I hadn't seen that many GBM had been added, because that's unfortunate, because we kind of modeled the, the buffer handle based on their needs. But well, yes, but the it's the current picture, um, how it is evolving, I think, for the current moment. And if I think if someone wants to add, um, the easiest way would be do the same. 
just to add to files if if uh, it's expecting that vendors are turning on the hardware composer on their platforms it should be i don't know mm, it is the obvious the most obvious way if uh, the maintainers are expecting something and not something to be done in another way i think it should be some something like how to simple and to it should be written somewhere at least Good point. Okay, if it's no question, I think we can finish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes.